Hey, what's going on guys? Devin here. In today's video, I have picked up Public Mobile for the month. I got a really wicked deal. Uh, it was some, pl I forget what it was, but it was some loyalty plan, I guess, for being a Kudo customer. 32 uh, bucks for 30 days. I got a gigabyte at 3G speed. But what the video is about to see is if they actually do throttle you. Now, they don't. Um, I've noticed on towers that are not con are not congested, which is basically any tower in Canada because... We don't have limited. We don't really have that much data caps. So we have really low data caps, so it, uh, it's really hard to be on a tower that's going to be con congested. And when, you sh when you're going to be uh, throttled, 3G speed is 3 megabits down, 3 megabits up, which really isn't bad. And when you have a gigabit, gigabyte, that's really not much. So at the top of my driveway here, we got one bar of... LTE. This is band 12.5 megahertz. Uh, I keep, the max I've seen here is 10 megabits per second on TELUS. So we're just going to run into speed tests here using the Mississauga Roger server and you can see their TELUS LTE because it does run off the TELUS network. So we'll just run a quick test here and we'll also test out the 4G services. Uh, the speeds are not going to be that great here because uh, I just don't live in that good of an area. But I will show you my result uh, that I did get over 3 megabits per second, like way over 3 megabits per second. See, they may cap on band 12, but uh, yesterday when I ran a test, I, uh, could get, I was getting like 7 or 8 megabits here. So we're getting 2 down, 2 up here. I'll actually move the car down to the, the bottom of the drive and, and run another test because the reaction don't seem to be getting better results here. If I go to results here, you can see this was in my third period class, 60 down, 7 up, uh, good ping, 37 milliseconds. So there's no latency issues. They don't uh, put you up to like 100 millisecond ping. It shot right up to 60 megabits, which was really good. Um, so yes, and this is supposed to be a 3G plan, but uh, those really aren't 3G speeds. So let's get to the next test. Okay, we're back in a better spot here, just at the bottom of my driveway. Now you can see I really I didn't move locations really. Got two bars of LTE. Again, Telus Network, Public Mobile, on the Mississauga Roger server, which I find is the best server uh, in my area. So there we go. Uh, yeah, see, there we go. Five megabits per second, almost six. That's not a 3G cap. I'm, I'm sorry, it's not. So we're getting about five down. And the upload, the upload, that's bursting at 6, 7, 8. The upload's actually going to come out better than the download, which is really surprising. So yeah, 38 ping, uh, 8.3 millisecond jitter, 5.3 down, 6.3 up. So uh, that's pretty good. Let's test 4G. Oh, and also no, no packet loss is, uh, is very good. We're going to switch off LTE here. I can actually click the button. Watch here. It will change to 3G, but it is actually HSPA+. Plus. Should bump a bar. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. We'll just uh, redo this here. I'll switch to... It'll show around 3G here, but I don't think it actually is 3G. I'm pretty sure it's HSPA+. Plus. There we go. Four bars. So three bars, sorry. 59 ping, 11 millisecond jitter. Um, see, this is looking more like a 3 megabit cap, for sure. Uh, yeah, it looks like a 3 meg cap. I've seen about, uh, 6 or 7 on the 4G. The upload will not touch 3. But that's, uh, it's pretty good. Probably end up with a no packet loss either. Yeah, no packet loss. There's our results. 3.14 down, 1.79 up. And this is on an iPhone 7 Plus. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the uh, tech, the uh, cell network videos. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.